If you're used to working on a PC, this video will show you some of the basic differences between using a PC and a Mac. Once you get to know the fundamentals, you'll find that it doesn't take long to get familiar with the Mac. The functions you're used to accessing from a start menu in Windows are divided between the dock and the Apple menu in the upper left of the desktop. The Mac makes it easy to access hard drives, servers, and any inserted disks by putting their icons conveniently on the desktop. There's no need to access drives like you did on your PC through My Computer in Windows. The Finder functions a lot like the Start menu on a PC. When you're trying to locate anything on your Mac, just click on the Finder. It's the first icon on the dock. You use it to navigate through all the contents of your hard drive, added external drives, disks, and attached devices. All your programs, or what we call applications, as well as all your most recent work, can be accessed with just a single click in Finder. There are four viewing options available in Finder. Click the icons in the upper left of the Finder window, and you can view files as icons, as a list, a column, or in CoverFlow. The dock is a row of icons that provides easy access to the applications you use most often on your Mac. It also tells you which applications are currently running and holds Windows in their minimized state, similar to your old Windows taskbar. The download stack on the right side of the dock contains any downloads you make from the web, mail, or iChat. The document stack is a shortcut to the contents of your personal documents folder on your hard drive. Both the downloads and document stacks give you fast access to folders and files on your Mac. When you click a stack, the files spring from the dock in a grid or a fan, depending on the number of items the stack contains. Finally, the trash is always at the far right of the dock. To delete an item, simply drag it to the trash as you would the recycle bin on Windows. You can empty the trash by clicking on the Empty button within the application, or by clicking on Finder and choosing Empty Trash. To open an application in the dock, just click its icon. Notice that when an application is running, the dock displays a white dot beneath the application's icon. You can click on any currently running application to make it the active one. To add and remove applications from the dock, all you need to do is drag and drop. To add an icon, just open Applications in the sidebar section of the Finder and drag any application you use frequently down to the dock to where you would like it to appear. To remove an icon, just drag it from the dock to an empty area of your desktop. It will disappear in a puff of smoke. But don't worry, removing an application from the dock does not remove it from your computer. Putting an application back on the dock is as easy as opening the Finder, opening Applications in the sidebar, and dragging and dropping the application back into the dock. Switching between icons on the dock also illustrates another difference between Windows and Mac. When you switch from one application to another, notice that the menu bar at the top of the desktop changes according to which application is currently active. All of the functions for the active application can be accessed through this menu bar. There are a number of other ways to quickly switch from one application to another. In Windows, you press Alt and Tab together to switch among running applications. Pushing Command and Tab together does the same thing on a Mac. And your Mac makes it easy to view every open window at once with the Exposé feature. There are numerous ways to activate Exposé, but the most common is to use the F9 key or the Exposé key on newer keyboards. You might not have known this, but you can use a right-click mouse with a Mac. In fact, the Apple Mighty Mouse has two-button functionality, and you can use almost any two-button USB mouse with any new Mac. If you're working on a laptop without a mouse and you want to right-click, just press the Control key as you click on the trackpad. Right-clicking gives you access to shortcut menus based on the application you are working in. You can customize the settings for your mouse in System Preferences in the Apple menu in the top left of your desktop, or by clicking the System Preferences icon on the dock. Like the control panel in the Start menu of Windows on a PC, System Preferences is where you can change your desktop and screensaver artwork, get information on your devices and settings, and much more. There are some differences between a PC and a Mac when you want to maximize or quit a particular window. On PCs, clicking the blue Maximize button causes the window to occupy the entire screen. On a Mac, 
The green circle in the upper left of a window increases the window size to a footprint that's best for viewing. The yellow circle minimizes a screen and places it in the lower right of the dock. Clicking the red circle closes the window on your Mac. Unlike the equivalent button on a PC, clicking the red circle does not quit the application. To quit an application entirely, either select Quit from the menu bar or press the Command and Q keys together. For more information on setting up and working on a Mac for former PC users, go to apple.com support and click on Switch 101.